So I want to get a brief description of what that is that diagram in my mind it's, it's I'm still working on this it's like an inverted plane you got two triangles going side by side so that makes the axle it always be higher on one side than the other so it'll roll this way and that way and on and on the outside of the axle are those those dominoes they don't have to be very big like teeth huh like teeth the dominoes but they're on the outside of the wheel where they can fall. They're pivoted on the bottom where they can hit each other. And the smaller ones keep it until they hit the bigger ones. And the weight of that, them fanning out, because this one is turned the other way. When these fan out and it starts turning this way, these can hit it back that way so they close. But when it gets to the top of that triangle on the other side, they open. And then this side closes because it's on the low side of the triangle. And so it just keeps going back and forth like that. They pivot and fall, each of them, in in a row, in rows. Yeah. Like Tony's teeth on his, conve on con like they're on a conveyor belt, kind of. On, on a wheel. Mm -hmm. And the force of the gravity turns the wheel around. The force of them falling keeps the wheel turning around. The force of them falling, hitting each other, opens them up. And the weight of them start pulling the other way. And the weight over there is reduced because they're not hanging out. They, when they start turning this way, they fold in because they pivoted back this way. When they get up here on the other side of the triangle where they're uphill, they open. And these close because the triangle makes them, because they're running, uh, because they're running up, it makes them close. And then it rolls back down here. Well, why wouldn't... There's two triangles, one running this way. Are they connected? No, they don't. Well, they're connected for strength. They don't have to be connected for any other reason. Like this. Like this. The wheel rolls down here, up here, on both sides. You got a triangle like this on both sides. Over here, over here. I'll be darned. The wheel's up here. The wheel turns. When it gets up there, the damn old thing is open back up over here. Let's just, I got I go. Make a diagram. Yeah. Well, can, as opposed to having to use the tides or the wind or anything like that, you could make a little machine in any country, in any climate, in any town no. or any or any you rural worry, area. You don't have to worry about the tides or the winds or nothing. You can make little machines that you could use. Or a big machine. Dominoes or a big natural. machine. You can make a big one you and then you wouldn't have to turn on power. You wouldn't have to turn on the wind. You wouldn't have to turn on the solar. It would work, work any time. They fold down and they fold back up and start hitting each other. A wheel that what? You take a... That rolls down. It, it, it's a very... It is and it's an in power. You take dominoes, okay. start down there and take a real little one and one a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. You drop that one down there, it'll knock that next one over. And how much power does it take to knock that great big one over? You only oh. exerted a pin. You touched it with a needle and turned that little bitty one over. And by the time it got up there, it turned a giant one over. But then how does it get back around to the little one again? Doesn't it have to keep going in a circular motion? Because the other side is, is made the opposite. And it turns it and it stands them oh. back up. It, it stands them back up. The weight of these knock them down, it stands them back up because they're on an inclined plane on both sides. A different, a different inclined plane, like this. And the thing's rolling between these two inclined planes. It rolls up this one, and, and the uh, dominoes open up on the other side, and then it rolls back down, and the, <laughs> and the, uh, and the momentum takes it up this side. And when those dominoes open up, it starts that little bitty paddle, and it starts hitting the bigger and the bigger and the bigger and the bigger. And by the time it gets to the bottom, it's enough of momentum to carry it up this plane. So does the power flag when it's only the little ones, or is it a strength power that stays consistent? 
Hey, it'll stay consistent because it, it'll stay the same. The extra gets going, it'll go. And, you, and then on top of that, you could even put a big heavy flywheel on it that would reserve that power. When it gets that flywheel start turning, it just keeps on going. And those, the weight of those dominoes, or you call them dominoes, but it's, just, it's that effect where you can take, touch something with a pin down there and you turn something over here that it would take a bulldozer to push over. Right. So nothing else is perpetual motion that you can think of, Nobody, except that. Nobody's ever come up with perpetual motion. What a time in society now, in evolution. This is going to be a thing now that people can put their head around. Well, think of all the uses it could have. Well, for gas and oil to not be needed, for even the turbines and um, the wind and all that not needed in places where it doesn't blow or where there's no tides. But how did the turbine reserve that energy? I mean, how did the big... What, what did Anything that turns will produce power. You can always figure a way to build to that to a, to a turbine. You can always figure a way to... That's kind of having a... Transfer, it's called transferring power. It's kind of like getting water up to the lake and keeping the lake up there until you need it. And you could even hook one of those. You could even have it to a variable speed transmission that would stay that would let it go at a certain time and bring it back back around as it comes back and forth. It would be up and down. And it's... But just think about that. You take a little bitty domino and start it, a little bit of an it can eventually get to a giant one as big as a house. And that little pinprick turned that whole house over. Absolutely. That's what it would be. You could, it'd be infinity. You could take dumb loads and stack from here to Laos, and by the time you got down there, you could have one tall as that damn tree, and it could turn it over. Jeez. You know, half a mile down the road. It's just a thought right now. That'll be something somebody in the world has never done. Hey. So isn't that TikTok thing? What do you call that meter? You still gotta have power. You want a pendulum? So this is just off the sun. A pendulum isn't off the sun. Well, what's off the sun? Perpetual motion needs the sun. That's not perpetual motion. You're getting power from something. Perpetual motion means motion without power, without drawing power to it. That's when you can't take a generator and run an electric motor and take an electric motor and run a generator. That won't work. Because the generator takes more power to run than you can produce to run the motor to run the generator. So it won't run. And I mean, people have been out of perpetual motion forever. And this is perpetual motion? Yeah. But I don't think I, it must be behind up somewhere. I'm thinking more about it nobody is ever been able to figure out how to make perpetual motion. Even Tesla didn't get onto that? No. No, he was he was all about the power that was in the already in the atmosphere. His his idea was his idea was moved really about running power through the earth. You could never do that. That would that would never ever work. And if even if it did, can you imagine I remember when they used to put they take uh, 